Hey guys, so Chan here from Laser Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about canceling your pre-order for Battlefield 5. If you guys can't tell, my voice is a little hoarse right now. I've had a call for the last few days, and that's why I haven't been posting too many videos. Uh, but I'm going to try to get through this commentary and sort of just go over it. Uh, this is by no means to hate on Battlefield 5. Um, this is just a question that a lot of people are bringing up and a lot of people are discussing right now. Um, so I think it's something that I should talk about in the video. And uh, yeah, if you guys are new here, too, subscribe down below for much more content on everything in the Battlefield universe. And just sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay in the background. Uh, but boys, today we're talking about Battlefield 5 pre-orders. So we already know that the pre-order numbers are relatively low, and people have been deciding to cancel their pre-orders for the game as well. And this is alongside the delay of the game, as well as the announcement that much of the content will be coming after launch, and it isn't entirely clear what content we will be getting at launch. Um, as opposed to other games like Red Dead Redemption 2 that have already shown off like the whole map that's going to be in the game. They've showed off like the scope of the map, the missions, that kind of stuff. Um, Black Ops 4, we know there's going to be three zombies maps, around 14 multiplayer maps, and Blackout. Um, these are just kind of statistics that we know with the game, whereas Battlefield 5 is not entirely sure, and there's a lot of gray area there. Um, and by pre -order, canceling your pre-order doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to buy the game. Um, this game will most likely be in its best state a few months after launch, once Firestorm's out, once co-op is out, and once they've released a few more DLC maps, so buying it then might be better. Um, just because there's so much like uh, questionable stuff around this game, and I'm not even talking about like the political stuff, I just mean with the content in general, it is advantageous to sort of wait on the pre-orders. I personally won't be canceling my pre-order because it's not too big of a deal, I'm probably going to buy the game anyway, and I don't really need the money to buy any other games since I've already pre-ordered pretty much everything I want to get um, this fall. Um, but for you, if you guys are kind of wondering, oh, should I get Battlefield 5 or Black Ops 4, or what game should I pre-order, I think there are other games that would be better for pre-ordering, um, or games that you should just basically save your money for, and sort of wait until they come out, wait until the reviews are out, and that kind of stuff. Um, I just don't think that Battlefield 5 is really giving a ton of information on what's coming at launch, and I don't think that it's going to be the best option for pre-ordering this fall. If you guys are new here, don't subscribe down below. I just sort of want to make a Battlefield 5 video talking about this, and sort of why the reasons people are canceling their pre-orders. A lot of it does just have to do with the content uh, that we know is going to be in the game, and sort of the lack thereof um, for a lot of people. Pretty much just having eight multiplayer maps and a relatively small single player isn't um, what we expect for a $60 game in 2018, and we know that it's going to get a lot more content via free DLC, but why not wait until that DLC has been released until you actually pre-order the game, or just decide to buy the game. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. Uh, but again, boys, that's what it is for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.